Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's tips for Reaper, we're going to be taking a look at a quick and easy way of organizing all our VSTs and our effects with the power of the new updated version of folders in Reaper 5.0. What they've done is they've given us the ability to create smart folders. So whereas before we'd have to go in and create a folder and then drag and drop all the VSTs and the effects and things we wanted into that specific folder, we can now do it in a much more logical fashion. So let's see how easy it is to do that. So as you can see, I've got my effects browser open and I've got quite a lot of VSTs and effects already installed in there. I've also got several folders that I've created. So all I need to do if I want to create a new folder is right click in this area and say create new folder. And what you can see now is instead of just giving it a name, we've got the ability to create a smart folder. So what I can do is I can call this one, for example, Cocos. And what I'll do is I'll put that in as auto map. Specify it's a smart folder. And now I can use some conditional logic to actually load these into that particular folder. So you can see that I've got a range of, for example, repitch, auto map, repitch without auto map, and so on. These are all to do with the keyboard that I've got or MIDI control I've got installed, and it gives me two options for each of these. So you can see I'm effectively doubling up all the VSTs that I've got on here because they're automatically put in the auto map option in there. So what I can do is I can just simply come into this and I can say Cocos auto map and say OK. And if I click, there's all of the auto map Cocos VSTs and VSTIs. If I go to the ordinary Cocos one, you can see all the ones now without auto map. So it's a quick way of working with it. So I can go back to all plugins and see all the plugins I've got on there. So you can see if I edit the Cocos one and edit this folder, you can see what I've done is use some conditional logic. I've said that I want Cocos, but I don't want the auto map one. So I use the conditional logic of not. So what it'll do is it'll find all the Cocos ones and anything that's got auto map included in there will be ignored. So a great way of using just some simple conditional logic to quickly and easily filter all of your particular VSTs, JS scripts and so on. Quick and easy and very intuitive. Well, I hope you found this quick tip for Reaper useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like option. If you've got any comments, feedback, or any videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave those in the comment section below, and I'm sure we can take a look at creating videos that you are looking for in the future. Until next time, happy mixing.